Next one is increased pyruvate and lactate are found in deficiency of after glycolysis there will be synthesis of pyruvate and it may converted into acetyl coa by the aerobic glycolysis lactate in case of anaerobic glycolysis and in case of microorganism it may be fermented to ethanol but we talk about the vertebrates only so the normally what happens in the aerobic condition the pyruvate will be converted to acetyl coa and the enzyme which required for the conversion of pyruvate to acetyl coa is pyruvate dehydrogenase complex this pyruvate dehydrogenase complex is composed of three enzymes and the coenzymes in which the vitamin may serve as a coenzyme so in case of pyruvate dehydrogenase complex the tpp that is thymine pyrophosphate is work as a coenzyme thymine pyrophosphate the name itself suggests that is derived from the vitamin b1 that is thymine so in case of deficiency of thymine the so pyruvate dehydrogenase complex cannot work adequately and that's why there will be the accumulation of pyruvate as it is accumulated it takes the alternate pathway to be converted into lactate so in case of thymine deficiency there will be accumulation of pyruvic acid and thereby after that there will be the accumulation of lactate due to increase anaerobic glycolysis this is very important table you must remember there are vitamins which will act as a coenzyme and this you can see these all are the active forms of that vitamins and these are the reactions where it is utilized as a coenzyme so this we have already seen the thymine pyrophosphate that is used in the decarboxylation or otherwise says in the pdh complex b2 that is riboflavin that is used in the oxidation and reduction b3 again it will form the nad nadh nadp nadph so all these will serve for the oxidation reactions b6 that is very important it will be act like a pyridoxal phosphate form and it will be utilized in so many reactions in the body like transamination in the protein metabolism deamination in protein metabolism and again the decarboxylation in lipid and protein metabolism so you must remember when decarboxylation come for the carbohydrate metabolism like pyruvate so the coenzyme will be thymine and when it's a matter of lipid and protein metabolism so decarboxylation required pyridoxine this vitamin is very important so biotin otherwise known as b7 which is used for the all the carboxylation reactions in the body means wherever the co2 is used carbon is added the biotin is required only one carboxylation reaction which is done by the vitamin k that is carboxylation of glutamate residues of clotting factor so when it comes the matter of carboxylation of clotting factor you must find out vitamin k so remember for decarboxylation of carbohydrate it's thymine decarboxylation of lipid and protein it's pyridoxine carboxylation of all the reactions it's by biotin except one that is of clotting factor and that is done by vitamin k vitamin b12 which is used for the alkylation and methyl group transfer in some of the reactions vitamin c is required for the all the hydroxylation reactions and pentothenic acid which is in the active form of acetyl coa will provide the acyl group so you must remember this table and it will be very helpful to solve out the questions this chart shows the name of vitamins and uh, due to their reactions the efficiency which disease can be occurred 
due to their defect or their deficiency. So thiamine will produce the beriberi, otherwise known as the vernix encephalopathy. Niacin will produce the pellagra. Biotin is used for the, all the carboxylation reactions. So if it is deficient, it leads to multiple carboxylase deficiency. Folic acid and uh, cobalamine will use uh, will deficiency cause the megaloblastic anemia. Vitamin K we saw that is it used for the clotting factor carboxylation. So if it is deficient, the carboxylation is not there and it is utilized for clotting factor carboxylation. So it's not there, so there will be problem with the clotting. Vitamin A always it's for vision that we all know the rich sources of vitamin A are papaya, mango, the all colored fruits. You can remember it by all colored fruits contain the vitamin A. Vitamin D, if it is deficient, it causes the osteomalacia or the rickets and vitamin C, it's caused the hemorrhages in the body like gums, joints, etc. and it is known as the scurvy. So this is the name of vitamin and their deficiency what causes. So these two tables are very important to solve the question related to vitamin. Again the similar question that you may find in your pamphlet that is question number 99. So deficiency of which vitamin causes lactic acidosis. So we saw already the deficiency of thymine that leads to inactivation of PDH complex that is pyruvate dehydrogenase and it leads to accumulation of pyruvic acid and ultimately takes the alternate pathway to form the lactate. So thymine is the answer. Now next one is which vitamin is required for the carboxylation of clotting factors. So again I told you all the carboxylation reactions are done by biotin except the carboxylation of clotting factor that is done by the vitamin K. So wherever you find the carboxylation of clotting factor you have to find out vitamin K and vitamin K will cause the carboxylation of glutamate. Please remember so glutamate will be carboxylated with the help of vitamin K and that form the gamma carboxyglutamic acid. So if you are asked which amino acid will be carboxylated so that is glutamate okay so you can ask two questions like uh, carboxylation of clotting factor that is vitamin K and which amino acid is carboxylated by vitamin K so that is glutamate again the treatment of multiple carboxylase deficiency so I have already told all the carboxylation that is by biotin so you can Treat it out with the help of biotin. Now, vitamin B12 acts as a point them to which one of the following enzymes? So, again, I told in the table that is methyl transferase. So, answer is homocysteine methyl transferase.